Hey there, this is Eric from OneHive 2.0 bringing you a new video to a brand new series called Back to the Basics with OneHive Labs. Today what we're going to do is go over funneling and the basics of funneling and really the steps that I look at when going into funnel I guess. So what we're going to be doing is looking at this base Dingus 3 starred on their 12 with a 2 golem uh, hog attack and what we're going to do first before we talk about the steps is just kind of explain why we're funneling. If you drop your Barb King right here, what's going to happen is the Barb King is going to go to this elixir pump, the next pump, and it's just going to keep going around in the circle and all these uh, bait, or all of these structures along the outside of the base and just be completely useless. So by funneling, you want to let it cut off one of these areas of defenses and really just make the funnel into wherever you want it to be so and you want to be doing that by first of all just looking at where you're going to be placing your golems so well the, they'll be the most utilized and these two places for golems are great because they should jump into the middle once it's wall broken and also oh, they are taking damage from both these archer towers and cannons and that's really what you want to be looking at when you're thinking about placing your golems is what's going to be hitting them and since these two are hitting them what that's doing for you is giving you the ability to drop your funneling troops outside really wide and dropping them outside wide is going to do is make it so your funnels more effective so you don't have to worry about any of your things being damaged and or well, any of your funneling troops being damaged, and then what's that going to do is obviously make the funnel. So then your troops will go straight up to the middle and deal with these troops right here instead of going around and just being dumb or on the outside. So it really makes your kill squad a lot more useful, and it's that's really just what the goal is, is to get your troops up to the middle and get the most use out of them, your kill squad. So the second step I like to look at is what funneling troops I'm going to be using. And it's either going to be wizards or minions in most places. So right here, you definitely want to use a wizard because both of these, well, especially the archer tower is going to be hidden here no matter what. This cannon is going to be on the edge with its radius. So you never know if, well, you know if you place it right that it's going to be hitting it. But let's say that you place your golem right here instead. Obviously, the mor or the archer tower is going to be hitting it, but this cannon will probably not hit this golem. So you can always use minions over on this uh, defense right here instead, and a wizard over here. And using the minions over there, obviously this cannon isn't going to be hitting those minions, since it only shoots ground. So that's an option you have to look at when you're funneling, and when you decide how you want to drop your golem, or how you can drop your golem for funneling. You just kind of want to look at if you can use wizards or if you can use minions. But I say no, you should always try to use wizards first, but use minions if there are able, or if you cannot use get away with just using wizards. So step three that I like to look at is when you're making your funnel, people, people kind of mess up and they drop all of their cleanup funnel troops inside sometimes. The reason why it's bad to have all of your troops in the middle like this is because you're really not getting the right type of funnel you need. And if you just get, let's say you get all of these buildings out and you think your funnel is going to be great, maybe they'll go to these, maybe they'll push in. But you don't want to be taking that chance. If you drop your Barb King down here still, there's a possibility that if you don't correctly break this or if you drop your Barb King first, that he's going to be taking a trip around and he's going to be finding the barracks before he finds anything in the middle. So you really want to start your funnel nice and wide. And that's what I would say step three is, is making sure that you get the funnel nice and wide here. Because when you get your funnel this wide, you're not only making the funnel wide, but they're going to be bouncing, the wizards are going to be bouncing from this barracks to this elixir pump, and the same thing over here. So you really only have to worry about these two buildings usually, and that's what your queen's going to be doing. So once you have these down, kind of just drop your queen, so she's going to be taking care of those two as your wizards are taking care of these. And as you get those taken down, what you want to do is drop your wall breakers down on the wall 
and that's kind of step four is figuring out if you need wall breakers or if you need a jump spell or if you need both but in this case all you need is a jump or I'm sorry all you need is wall breakers and two are gonna work since these two outer parts right here are town hall or sorry level eight walls and they only need two wall breakers level five wall breakers at least so go ahead and wall break that your golems are gonna come in your archer queen's already gonna be going once you break that you can drop your witches which he brings here and <clears throat> excuse me also you're gonna be everything's gonna be starting to push in the witches are gonna be pushing in the king's gonna or the queen's gonna be pushing in and once your golems kinda pull this CC what you wanna be looking to do is get the king down in the middle and you're dropping the king so late is so that he doesn't take damage from the CC instead the golems are gonna be taking damage so that's huge for you is to have your king last longer and you're able to have your king drop so late because all of these buildings are going to be down because you created your great funnel and that's really what the goal of funneling is is to make it so all of your kill squad is going to be dropped down and be able to go right up the middle exactly where you want and really just get in with the cc the king and the queen and just get in there and kill all of them and so you'll be able to start the second part of your attack so let's go ahead and see how Dingus did it. Alright, so now we're going to be looking at Dingus' execution. And he started off up top with just killing Teslas, and that's irrelevant to the funneling. So we're going to go ahead and watch how he did the funneling. Alright, he placed each golem on the spots that I said. And as you can notice, the left side golem ended up triggering the cannon and the archer tower which he recognized and put his three wizards, which probably could have been spread out a little bit more, one on each building, but he puts them far enough to where they're going to really cut off the line of buildings on that side. On the right side, you'll notice that the cannon is not firing at his golem. He recognizes this, very just he did it on the fly, which is great, and I don't know if he had that planned or not, but the cannon didn't hit his golem, so what he did is he placed his wizards a little bit more to the inside, which is still going to be great because it's still going to cut off the line of buildings and they're still going to get the funnel just going in the, towards the inside. But he places the wizards a little bit more on the inside just to kind of just compensate for the cannon not hitting. And you can see that they take out both on both sides. They take out the line of buildings. The bottom you got the queen taking out the middle buildings. You got the wall breakers working great because the archer tower is distracted by the golems. He's dropping his all his kill squad. See his queen taking out the middle uh, buildings that she needs to. Got the wizard taking out all of the outside buildings. And everything goes up the middle just beautifully. That's exactly how funnel should work. So great funneling by Dingus. Resulted in a three star attack. Alright, now what we're going to be looking at next is kind of what not to do with the funnel or how. We're just showing you guys how such a little thing can ruin a funnel. So we're going to go ahead and he's doing a giant healer hog attack and he does everything great in the beginning he gets his giants down he picks the right base healers down queen in the middle and he starts his funneling troops which seems like it's going to go well but here's what he did not look at down here he probably should have only dropped two wizards because three wizards is just kind of he's using two wizards on the same building over there and if he placed one in between the barrack and the bottom gold mine it would have been doing the same thing as two so if he would have taken one of those wizards and placed them more north here, up on these one of these barracks, it would have really prevented from the queen roaming around like she does, and we'll see here. He drops all his wall breakers, really gets the funnel going, and it really does seem like he's going to do well. His uh, king starts going in, his kill squad is starting to meet with their CC, and what you can see happening, is happening up here, is that the queen took a lock on the barracks up there and now the archer tower and she's just completely out of all of the just CC kill which is absolutely going to kill him because he the queen's sitting here hitting a high health gold storage while she could be down there killing his queen or any of that CC troops which just didn't get done and in a result of that not getting done all of his uh, all of his kill squad I guess just completely got demolished and all of his hogs are getting demolished by their C or his CC that he didn't end up killing because of the resulting funnel going poor in the beginning. So my tip to you guys would just be really look at what you are funneling and where you how how wide you really can make your funnels. 
So we'll look at a deal here of what kind of how I would have done it if I was doing this, or if I could have made modifications afterwards. His kill squad and everything went great going up here, but what you saw is he had the three down here, where these both were hitting here, and that really didn't do anything for him. So if he would have maybe deleted one there, and dropped a wizard here, up here, and maybe here, since this archer tower was focused on all his giants, which were getting healed up, so by doing this up here, getting rid of all of these, um, his queen would have had <clears throat> it would have had the same responsibility of possibly going here, going here, going here, and then completely going on the inside with meeting up with his king and all the rest of the CC troops. And you really have to make sure you make really wide funnels, especially now with the new queen AI. And the new queen AI is making it, or it has made it, so your queen, king, and whatever troops you have, don't target the defensive CC or troops or skeletons or heroes or anything until they're a lot closer. So they made it a lot more just important for you to gauge your funnel really correctly and make sure that you have your royals where they're going to be meeting up with their royals and their CC because you can't really make a, it just, you can't really make a just, you can't rely on your queen or king to just be going in and funneling themselves as much as they used to. So you really have to do that yourself now by creating a bigger funnel. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and feel free to comment on the, the just this video, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And we have two other guys who are going to start making videos here too, and we'll all just work on getting every single comment answered. So thanks for watching, guys.